A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a significant escalation of hostilities, Israel launched pre-dawn airstrikes against military targets in Iran on Saturday, marking the first time the Israeli military has openly attacked Iranian territory. This military action is a direct response to a barrage of ballistic missiles fired by Iran earlier this month, which targeted Israel. According to the Israeli military, the airstrikes were aimed at facilities involved in missile production and surface-to-air missile sites. Notably, Iran's oil and nuclear sites were reportedly not targeted, indicating a calculated approach by Israel to avoid further escalation. In the aftermath of the strikes, Iran's government claimed that the damage was limited and downplayed the significance of the attacks through state-run media. The situation remains precarious, as both nations appear to be navigating a delicate balance to prevent a full-blown conflict. However, the strikes could potentially push Israel and Iran closer to all-out war, especially in the context of ongoing violence in the region involving Iranian-backed militant groups like Hamas and Hezbollah, who are already engaged in hostilities with Israel. Following the airstrikes, Iran's foreign ministry issued a statement asserting its right to defend against foreign aggression, with Foreign Minister Abbas Arachi emphasizing that Iran has no limits in defending its interests. However, Iran's military later suggested that any ceasefire regarding Israel's ground offensives in Gaza and Lebanon would take precedence over any retaliatory actions. Reports indicate that four individuals were killed in the strikes, all associated with Iran's military air defense. The Israeli military confirmed that the strikes targeted bases in the provinces of Ilam, Khazestan, and Tehran. Interestingly, the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, which manages Iran's extensive ballistic missile arsenal, did not comment on the strikes, leading to speculation about the effectiveness of the attack. U.S. President Joe Biden commented on the situation, stating that Israel had informed him prior to the strikes and that they appear to have targeted only military sites. Biden expressed hope that this would mark the end of hostilities, noting that the U.S. had received assurances from Israel that it would refrain from striking nuclear facilities and oil installations. The airstrikes come after a series of missile attacks from Iran against Israel, which had caused minimal damage. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu condemned Iran's actions, stating that the country had made a big mistake by attacking Israel and that it would face consequences for its aggression. Images released by the Israeli military depicted the preparation of F-15 and F-16 warplanes for the strikes. Iranian military sources reported that Israeli aircraft fired lightweight missiles from a distance of 100 kilometers from the Iranian border, targeting air defense radar stations, some of which were already undergoing repairs. Analysts suggest that Israel's choice to target military sites rather than high-profile or symbolic locations reflects a strategic decision to avoid provoking a significant Iranian response. This approach allows Israel to maintain the upper hand in military precision while also signaling that it does not seek further escalation at this time. In the streets of Tehran, life appeared to continue as normal, with children attending school and shops open for business. However, some residents expressed anxiety and hesitated to discuss the situation with reporters. The Israeli opposition leader criticized the decision to avoid targeting strategic and economic sites, arguing that a heavier price could have been exacted from Iran. The United States and European allies, including Britain and Germany, have urged Iran to refrain from retaliating, emphasizing that any escalation would be unacceptable. Saudi Arabia and other regional nations condemned Israel's actions, citing violations of Iran's sovereignty and international norms. The ongoing conflict between Israel and Iran has deep historical roots, with tensions escalating since the 1979 Islamic Revolution. Israel views Iran as its greatest threat due to its leaders' calls for Israel's destruction, support for anti-Israel militant groups, and its nuclear ambitions. The recent airstrikes represent a new chapter in this long-standing conflict, which has seen both nations engage in a shadow war involving assassinations, sabotage, and cyber attacks. The backdrop of this latest escalation includes the recent attacks by Hamas and other militants on Israel, which resulted in significant casualties and hostages being taken. Israel's response has been a devastating military campaign in Gaza, resulting in a tragic loss of life among Palestinians. As the situation develops, the international community watches closely, hoping for a resolution to the escalating violence in the Middle East. That's all for this story. 
We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.